We always think a risk is, what if we change? What if we actually do something different? What does that mean in terms of the cost? But the problem is we fail to ask the other question. What if we don't take that risk? How many lives have we not saved? How many people have we not educated as a result? It is automatically saving, downloading, you can have a MP4 file within minutes. Today, the most successful organizations cannot be elitist, they can't be hierarchical, they cannot be repetitive. They have to be democratic and innovative meritocracies where the ability to put a difficult problem at the center of the table and draw on our collective skills to address it is more important, I believe, than individual genius. In Algeria, we're not reinventing technology. But what we're trying to do is to simple t use the simple technology that exists now, but use it in a way to get the right people together to talk about defining the problems and coming up with solutions. Students apply their science and their math in order to solve real life problems. You're studying how to resolve a problem, one of the grand challenges that face Egypt. The question I want to ask here today is where does the rubber hit the road in terms of maximizing the transformative potential of mobile technology in dealing with a development crisis like the current Ebola outbreak? We asked, can this online experience actually lead to the same kind of transformative experience that people who finish our courses say they've had? I was delighted by the feedback, which was, we asked World Learning for a training, but you gave us a revolution. You hear the statistics about the number of extinct um, species and what humans are doing to our own planet. I'm really pleased to think that we might be able to use technology to make it a safer, better world so that we don't have a bowl of crisis, so that we have people that are educated to be the next scientists. Our problems are human-made and they can be solved by humans. If we can put this Volkswagen-sized rover on the surface of Mars, we can do that then we can solve a lot of these great challenges. And it is using the ingenuity of humans and the tools that technology gives us and connectivity has unlocked that allows us to be successful.